Namaste. I am Anish Mandal and my this tutorial is about port forwarding. So what is port forwarding? Port forwarding allows a remote system from the internet to connect to a specified computer or network service in a local area network. Like you can take remote access of your home computer from any system over the internet or you can share web or FTP server from your home that can be accessible any part of the world using the internet. Even you can use the remote surveillance system on your CCTV camera that can be accessible via your mobile or your laptop. So how it works? Basically, internet. You have taken an internet connection from your ISP that has been configured to your home network using the router and your PC, home PC is connected to that router and you want to take remote desktop connection which works on port number 3389 from your laptop or your office computer which has connected on internet. So all you just need to configure the port forwarding on your router and it, whenever you send a request on that public IP which provided by your ISP it will forward it that request of remote desktop to your home computer. Same manner you can create host home server, web server on port number 80 or FTP server on port number 21. Even CCTV camera access can be done by default the port 7000 or any other port where your CCTV camera works on the network. And basically you can take this remote connection from any other device from your mobile or your iPad. Before we proceed, we need to know about the different types of IP address which provided by your ISP provider. Static IP address from ISP provider. A fixed IP address which provided by your ISP, internet service provider. For example, 123.52.31.91. It is a fixed IP address which we need to configure in our router. Internet service provider may charge extra if you require a static IP. So what is the benefit of it? All you just need to use the internet enabled PC or laptop and use this static IP. Type this static IP to connect to your home network. It can be directly accessible from the internet. And there is a dynamic IP address. Dynamic IP address is auto assigned by your ISP provider. IP changes. Whenever you disconnect or reconnect internet, the new, stat new IP, public IP will be assigned from your ISP provider. Now to access the system, from internet you need to know the currently assigned IP from your ISP provider or there is another alternate solution is available it's called DNS so what is DNS actually DNS it's a domain name service in a simple words where the system on the internet work, network is communicate or identify each other via IP address but as a human, it's very hard to remember numbers of each and every system over the network or internet. That's so internet DNS is introduced. DNS is like a phone book of system IP address translated into human friendly host name. Example, if IP address, we have a IP address of 123.52.31.91 the domain name can be available www.mycomputer.com or any host name that can be accessible using the DNS in our case 
if we don't have a static IP. So for our dynamic IP address solution, we are going to use free DNS service. For this tutorial, we can use noip.com, duckdns.org, free DNS, hopper.pw. Some of them has a client which auto update IP address which has been dynamically assigned by your ISP provider. So now it's demo time. First we need to identify what is our public IP address and what is our private IP address. IP config using command prompt. It will provide us our private IP address, which we use internally to communicate each and every device in our local area network. Public IP address is provided by our ISP. We can use what is my IP service. Here we can see the public IP address. So how it can be used. Once we know what is our public IP address and what is our private IP address. We need to take access of our router. To access the router we need to know the IP address. And whatever our default gateway address is the same IP address to access the router. In this example, I am using DIR605L router of t And if you don't know the username and password of your router, you can use router password where you can see the product name and the vendor to search the default username and password. If you are not still not able to access the router using this username and password, kindly ask the person who has configured this router. Yeah. In my router, it is a default configuration. And we, if we need to change something, we need to click on manual setup. And to access port forwarding function, we always need to go in advanced. There is an option called advanced port forward or port forwarding rule. Here we can configure the port forwarding. Now we are going to configure port forward for remote desktop. As this is a new router, it has default accessible port forwarding rules that can be choose. Remote desktop. And my computer is connected. On one zero one, my IP address, which I need to configure port forwarding. It's done. Now we are going to take the remote desktop access 
of our home system from internet computer and this time we know the static IP which has been provided by our ISP so we are going to take remote access using that static IP to take the remote desktop connection simply start remote desktop connection type public IP which has been provided by your ISP and click connect it will ask you your it will it will ask the password of your computer which you use to connect or login here it is you can see the IP address of your local system and the remote desktop taken using static public IPs. 